Hey, guess what? It's watermelon seed someone time. I already have my setup. I'm just right. I'm doing it indoors. Here is my tray. This tray came from Bootstrap Farmer. I'll put a link in the description if you want to have some real nice sturdy uh, trays that's going to last you a long time. All right, going right into it. First thing, I want to make sure I put my growing medium inside. I already packed it in so that it's not going to have any air gaps so it doesn't drop inside when I put my seeds in. And this is a happy frog mix. I love it. My plants are going to get the nutrition that they need for the uh, time that they're inside. And I'll put a link in the bottom just in case you want to check it out. All right. So when it comes to uh, the sowing death, I'm only going to plant this uh, seed, the uh, length, the depth of the actual seed. So about a half inch, I'm going to go ahead and put it down and I'm putting them in the uh, center. I'm only sowing one per cell. That's because I got these from uh, Baker Creek and you know they're kind of expensive. So I want to make sure I have one per, one per cell and then if it doesn't work, I'll go ahead and start back over. It's not like it's a, a pepper seed where it takes a long time to uh, germinate. You'll know in a couple of days if uh, they're coming up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. All right, the strawberry watermelon seeds are in and I almost forgot. One other thing that you need to uh, make sure you do, somehow you need to make sure that you label your uh, watermelon seeds so that you'll know exactly what you have so you don't have to wait until harvesting time to say, hey, I think this is what it is. No, let me uh, crack it open and see. So don't forget to label. Right. Now, the next uh, seeds that I'm going to plant, you have the Royal Golden. And with these, if you haven't seen my other video, this is the first time I've done this one as well. When this turns yellow, your watermelon is done. So there's no guesswork. When the rind turns yellow, you might as well go ahead and clip it off the line and go ahead and get started to uh, harvest it and taste it. That is so cool, so I can't wait. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the, those in. Now, the reason why I'm sowing my seeds now inside is because, number one, I have a food forest and my wood chips are so thick, I don't want to uh, pull them away and then the wood chips fall back on top of and they can't grow. But I am going to try to do some sowing to see if it will work. Okay, the other reason why I'm sowing my watermelon seeds now, my frost date is two weeks away and I want to make sure I get a jump start on that because last year I had to wait three weeks after our frost date. So I normally do two to three weeks before. So if I have to wait because of the uh, weather, I will be able to have these in this pot for a while so that they were not growing all over the place. So two to three weeks is my range before the uh, last frost date so that I'm good to go just in case it extends over. I know a lot of people were nervous last year when it still was cold, still was cold and the plants needed to go out, but they couldn't. So this uh, kind of brings the uh, anxiety down on doing that because I want to make sure my plants thrive. So that's why I do what I do. The next watermelon that I'm planting is the golden honey. All right, these are the yellow meat watermelons on the inside. So I'm going to have a variety of watermelons to choose from. Now, in another couple minutes, I'm going to show you why you need to have the, uh, gr the uh, ground cinnamon. All right, it's late night. I'm trying to get it in. Y'all see I'm in my uh, pajamas. So I'm trying to get through. All right, but this is a exciting time, especially for my watermelons. I love growing watermelons. Hey, if you like watermelons like me, if you check down below, you can go ahead and purchase a shirt. It says grow something tasty and it has the uh, watermelon in the uh, middle. All right, so I had these uh, made last year. So if you uh, want a shirt like this, just go to the uh, bottom and see if you have any colors that you might like, and that'll be a good deal. All right, moving right along. The next watermelon 
seeds that I'm planting. I have the bag. If you did not see my channel last year, I'll probably try to pull up the video so you can see the inside of those cool watermelons. I had crimson sweets. All right, on the inside, to my surprise, I didn't know what I was in for. So you need to check it out. It has the yellow and the red swirls. It tastes amazing. First, I thought something was wrong with my watermelons. I was like, you look at my face. I was like, okay, what is this? It's not what I thought it was going to be. But I'm going to uh, sow a couple of these. Now, I don't know because, because the way how they look, if that was the way that was, they was supposed to look because I just thought I had crimson sweets. So now I'm going to oversee this one because I have a lot of these uh, seeds. And if they start to germinate, I'll know that uh, I could uh, plant more. Now, I do have something going on over here. I'm not going to let you see it because I've never done it before, but it's something to do with watermelons and half of them germinated. The other half didn't. And I put some of these seeds in, but I did not label it. So once I can figure out how I'm going to get that video out once in a couple of weeks, I'll try to see if I can get it down because it's going to be amazing. I'm telling you, I can't wait. So I got a lot. I got a lot. I got to try to put together. So because I've never done this one before. So I'm going to try to get it to you. All right. So we're almost done. Now, my dog is upstairs making some commotion. So hopefully you don't hear that. Because uh, I was like, what What I got to go do? I thought something was uh, going on, but that, that's just him. Let me know in the comments if you want to see my puppy. Now, it's not, he's huge. He don't look like a puppy, but he is. All right, so I, let me know if you're a dog lover. All right, the last watermelon that I'm going to plant for tonight is the Carolina Cross. All right, these melons can get to be real, real huge. Now, I have not gotten a big melon like that i think i've only done this uh, one time and i had something that was chewing on it so it didn't uh, take so hopefully i will get a carolina cross melon not saying it's gonna be 200 pounds but hey if i can get it to grow then that's gonna be what it's gonna be all right now one other thing i'll tell you that i like to do i like to uh water from the bottom that's why i have these uh trays from boot scrap farmer like i said i'll put the link in the description they're gonna last you a long time and you can go ahead and take one of these cups out and then pour your water in and water from the uh, bottom so you don't have to worry about getting a lot of uh, disease uh, uh, fungus now i think i'm on the uh, third one hopefully i didn't put two of them in there but i'll see in the replay i guess all right so one other thing that you can do if you are concerned about germination rates. You can go ahead and get your uh, what they call that thing, your heating mat and put it on the uh, bottom of this. I'm using the heating mats right now. I may decide to do that, but that will help you germinate these a lot sooner if you are worried about the uh, germination rates. So I might have to hit it with that. Now, the bonus tip that I was telling you about. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Now, I go through a lot of ground cinnamon. Now, you can do this with all your other plants over here. I'm doing that to make sure because I don't want to have any uh, fungus. This right here has antifungal properties. So after you get finished, you can just go ahead and uh, put this on top. It's not going to hurt your uh, seedlings when they come up. They're just going to smell like cinnamon. But you want to make sure that if you're having issues with fungus, this is one thing that you can do and lay it on top. And you may have to apply it again once you're watering from the bottom or if you're watering from the top that's your choice then once it starts to uh go away you want to make sure that you reapply so when my wife go to the uh, store tomorrow i'm going to ask her to get some more uh ground cinnamon so that i can use this because this right here really works trust me i have been doing this a lot ever since i lost some plants a couple years ago to a uh, fungus then I just keep getting this and reapplying. So this will help you out. Let me know in the comments if you already started your uh, watermelon sowing. Let me know the varieties that you're going to uh, try. And I'm always trying a new variety each and every year. All right, sounds like a lot of fun. Now, thanks for coming to my channel. I'll see you next time. And remember, let's go ahead, 
get to sewing if you can. All right, bye.